Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to build a booking app with custom availability between Monday to Sunday. So every day is not exactly the same. And when a user makes a booking, that booking is no longer available for that selected date. So here, this booking is no longer available for 4 p.m. So let's get started. So firstly, let's connect our Flutterflow project to Firebase. So we're going to create a Firebase project. Okay, once that's done, let's firstly uh, connect it. So our Firebase project ID is this. Connect, it'll give you a warning to add Flutterflow into, as an editor. We'll quickly do this as well. Go to user permission, add a member, editor. Once that's done, we can also, let's go build and enable aut authentication. Let's go to sign in method, email and password enabled. Let's also enable Firestore as a test mode. Cool. Now let's go back to our Flutterflow and press connect. And then we're going to auto generate config file quickly. Once that's done, let's enable authentication. Our login page is Let's just quickly use a auth design that is already existing Flutterflow. Uh, let's just pick this one. Let's go login. And our login page, let's call it, let's just do this one. This uh, home page. Let's do this as well. Create user on creation. Now the first thing we're going to set up is when a user creates an account, we create an account in the back end as well. So let's get started. Let's delete all these irrelevant information. We're not going to allow third party sign in. So let's just delete these. Okay. Now we need to duplicate this quickly because when you create an account, you need to confirm the password. Confirm password. Now let's quickly add an action for the sign in. Add action, we're going to sign in. And then now off provider is going to be email and the email address is email login, which is here. And the password field is login password, which is this one. Firstly, let's validate the Firebase schema and also um, deploy the Firebase rules. Great. Now let's test. Let's create it, create an account. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here, lovely, it went to the homepage. Let's refresh our Firestore database. And we can see here the user collection has been created for the account I just created. Perfect. Now let's create a profile page for the user where the, uh, the user can create a class and then manage its availability on when the class is on Monday to Sunday. So let's create a page for profile. Let's just use this theme, basic theme profile. And then let's add it to the bottom bar. And then just delete some of the irrelevant information that we don't store currently. Let's create, put some information there. The logout buttons, logout. Now let's just change this to create class. So this is the type of the class that we want uh, the user to create. Let's change the icon to add. Let's do that. Let's delete this for now. So when the user press create class, we will go to another page where um, the user will be able to enter information about the class. So let's create another page. Let's just use this theme here. Let's call it create class. And here we just quickly change some information about the page. Great. So now what we need to do is um, configure the back end to accept these information when we create the class. In addition to creating initial availability from Monday to Sunday, which is unset. So let's go quickly go back to the Firebase setting and we're gonna add a collection of classes. And the classes would have um, class name as a string, class type, class description, as a string 
here what we need to do is create a custom data type of availability because availability is not going to be simply a list of something it's going to be a list of a custom data type so let's go straight to data types and here let's call it availability and availability is going to have a custom data type of uh, day of week it's going to be a string we're going to have a start time of day time and an end time of day time now go, going back to the our firebase now each individual class would have a list of availability based on the newly created custom data type we just created so when a user creates clicks create class it would automatically enter the class name the description and the initial set availability from monday to sunday with blank nulls however to populate that custom data type with set availability the quickest way is to create a custom function that outputs monday to sunday as an array with no time set so in order to do this quickly we'll use a custom function let's call it initial availability and the output is basically the custom data type we just created and it's going to be a list because it goes monday to sunday and then the argument we actually don't need an argument because it, there's no inputs so what we need to do here is so i've already created a set of custom code but i'll explain it to you what it does and i simply uh, created it using the code copilot so here we want to output uh, a list of av availability from monday to sunday so it's going to spit out a list of array between monday to sunday and for each day of the week monday to sunday it's going to output of the day first and the start time of now and end time of now meaning no availability has been set so let's quickly save the function now that we've created a custom function we need to make sure our user has a linkage to that to a class so i'm going to quickly edit the user schema to have class ref a document reference classes and here let's just for basic as a basic example one user can only have one class and then in the classes schema i also need to refer back to the owner as well um, just for completeness sake so i'm going to have the owner reference here and a document reference of user so let's go back to create class so when the user uh, creates a class we want to basically firstly add a create document create a document for the class in the classes collection and we're going to set these fields the class name is going to be from the widget state and the similarly the task class description is going to be from the widget state as well the availability we're going to use the custom functions output and then lastly the owner reference we're going to put authenticated user user reference what we next need to do is also update the user document so update the user document authenticators users user reference and then the field we need to update is the classes reference and here we can get it from this this creation so let's just call it classes class output and then the backend call for update document to update the user collection is going to be the output of this and then the reference of this output from the step one and finally let's just quickly navigate back to the profile page once it's done as always check for custom function to make sure it's working before you try to test it because it won't allow you to do so okay let's quickly switch here and press instant reload Let's go to create class, class name, it's called Flutterflow 101, Flutterflow 101 basics, press create class. Now let's go back to our Firestore to see if the information has been created. So classes, there's a class collection here. We can see here Monday to Friday is all set with no availability, no time set. And 
everything looks to be good. Now let's quickly double check on the user collection. Here we can see here the class ref is referring to the newly created class we just created. Perfect. Now let's just go back to the profile page. Now let's just hide this where create class doesn't show when a user already has a class. Let's simply do conditions, conditions, um, authenticated users, class ref. If it's set, we, if it's not set, we want to enable this button. If it's set, we don't want to show it. So that means that here we need to say, if class ref does not exist, we will show this button. Perfect. Now let's just create the button to manage the class time slots. So let's call this manage time, manage class times. And then the button here, let's just call it a pencil button, an edit button. Here the conditional will be if class ref is set, we will show it. Perfect. I'm going to stop here. So the next part of our multi-part series, we're going to allow a user to input custom times between Monday to Sunday. Follow to keep updated on the next part of the series.